YouTube this is Mrs. E Star and I was coming with a quick product review so the other day I was at the 99 cent only store okay just picking up a few little things you know needed for the house and I went down their aisle that has all the hair care and the shampoos and normally I do buy my shampoos and conditioners from there I think it's suave or VO5 I'll get from there because it's just a dollar and you get like a very large quantity of it and it works pretty good but I was going down the aisle and I came across this product called Trey Caballeros Brillante I'm not a Spanish speaking sister so I'm gonna just show you what it is it looks like this I um I opened it up just to see what the consistency of it was and it's it's greasy it's like a grease it's thick not super thick but it's it looks like that kind of like Vaseline almost but it has a little a few little clumps up in there but I just said you know what I just want to try it and see what happens so my hair um, is actually in need of a wash I'll be washing it this week I haven't decided what day um, and about two days ago, I did a twist out. Actually, I did a, it was a braid out, but I did French braid, like cornrows. Um, I believe that was Saturday evening. And I used the, um, I think it's the Let's Jam Curling Custard with the purple top, if I'm not mistaken. And it was okay. Maybe I needed to leave it in a little longer. Maybe I'll try leaving it in, leaving the twist or braids in for like a couple of days to get a better curl definition because come Sunday afternoon, I had a straight fro and it was not the business. So I'm going to have to do a review on that again. Um, like I said, when I leave the product in for a couple of days, um, I think it might work better that way. And then if it doesn't come out any better, then it's just that that doesn't work for me. So like I said last night, I decided to try this. I'm not going to embarrass myself again and try to pronounce it because uh, that's just that's just not right. I, I ain't going to do that. But anyway, I did a twist out. It was on dry hair. And like I said, my hair was somewhat stretched because I had the braids in um, and had done braid out well, with cornrows. Like I said, about two days ago. So, as you can see, it's been twisted last night. Um, it didn't, I didn't really notice any shrinkage with it, which was pretty good. Like, it was a little, but not a whole bunch. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a tad bit more as I take my twist down. And usually what I do when I take my hair down, I'll use um, olive oil or I'll use... Um, coconut oil or sometimes I'll even use jojoba oil um, just you know or or even oil sheen like I said I've been using that oil sheen my husband's oil sheen um, for a little while now and I really am in desperate need to get my own type of spray or just some more oil because I ran out of my olive oil and I kind of I miss it I like how my hair feels with it okay so I have a little bit in my hands I don't know if you can see that that well. Not much. Just gonna kind of run it through all of the twists in my hair. So this is not a tutorial or anything. It was just a product review, and just so you can kind of see what the results were um, from this new product. And I looked at a review online. I cannot tell you what website it was on, but it was. Um, it looked like it was a, uh, a Hispanic young man um, and he showed the product in his hair and it, it worked pretty good for him and he too bought this product from the 99 only no, excuse me 99 cent only store don't sleep on that store y'all they have some things up in there that you would normally pay five or six dollars for and get it for a dollar hello somebody ain't no shame in my game that's called being a smart shopper. Hello. So I'm almost done. I have to get ready to go. So I'm going to do this as quickly and expeditiously as I can. 
But so far, with me just taking the twist down, I am liking the results. I'll try to come a little closer so you can see. So there's a lot of moisture in my hair, which is very important to me. I cannot stand dry hair, and especially natural hair, because there's already texture to it. Um, if it's not moisturized, it can tend to look not flattering at all. And uh, yeah, people already question why I went natural, so I don't want to give them reasons to talk about she done went natural and she not keeping her hair up looking a hot mess. Not that it bothers me what people say about me because people are going to talk regardless. Hello, somebody. But, you know, it's just as far as my preference, the way I want to be displayed to the world. And being natural works for me. So I, I really like it. I think what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to actually apply it while my hair is damp. Um, while I detangle my hair, I'll apply this product. And you know what? I don't think I'll... Well, I might try something else with it just to see um, how it works in conjunction with another, pro another product. Um... I'm just kind of separating these little pieces just to add more volume and normally I would not move this fast but I do have somewhere to be it seems like every time I'm doing a video I have somewhere to go but my daughter is asleep and since she's asleep I want to try to sneak a video in just because even though she really loves co-hosting. And I love her there as well. But um, it's nice to <laughs> be able to have it quiet. No distractions. While I can share some of my little secrets with y'all. So you know what? Alright somebody. I am really digging this product. Too bad they don't make any larger bottles all right all right well I say all right all right all right I'm never mind I ain't gonna say nothing about that but look it turned out really nice yeah so y'all try that I'll show the product again it is Trey. Mm hmm. Brilliantine. Um, <laughs> I guess. But this is the product. I got it for a dollar, people. Hello, somebody. And it worked really, really well. Um, it's a little bit, of, it's, a, it's a tad bit greasy, but hey, wash your hands when you're done. You'll be fine. Try not to sit on any expensive furniture. <laughs> you won't leave any grease spots. I'm afraid that may happen, but um, but your hair will be nice and it'll be soft. It's my hair is very soft, so I keep touching it because I'm really just shocked that I only paid a dollar for this. I think I'm gonna make another trip to the dollar store today. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna pick up probably a few more of these. I'll probably get about five of these just to have um handy. And I also like to, I create like my own little mixtures for my hair. Um, I'll pour in so many different ingredients, natural products. Um, and I'll make a mixture for myself. Um, so like when I'm doing my wash days, I can apply the product, detangle my hair and it, it's, it goes with, you know, it, it goes very smoothly. I don't have any, any problems detangling my hair when I have my little mixture. So you too can do the same thing. I actually am in need of buying a few more products that I have run out of. Um, I, I love, 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 uh, shea butter, natural raw shea butter is very very essential I feel for natural hair um, as well as olive oil and um, coconut oil is very very key 
And one of the main things that you want to make sure you have for your hair um, is a really good conditioner, really good leave-in conditioner. And that is something else that I need to purchase because I have now run out and I have no more. But um, whatever works for you, um, a good conditioner that I used for a while was Cantu, C-A-N-T-U. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the bottle to show you, but I believe it has like an orange top. Um, and that's about maybe $4 or so, depending on where you go, where you get it from. I got it from a local beauty supply store um, for about, like I said, $4 or so. And as far as my olive oil, I got pure um, olive oil, not the um, the virgin or the extra virgin. I got pure. Um, I heard a few things about the extra virgin, but extra virgin olive oil. But I mean, different strokes for different folks. It works for some people. It doesn't work for other people. I personally like the pure olive oil. It works fine for me. Um, but like I said, I don't have a problem trying out the extra version just to see how it is i'm pretty sure there's not much difference but i am really i'm really um serious about hair care and taking care of my hair making sure it's it's moisturized and it's getting the nourishment that it needs so um just like anything red uh water drinking plenty of water that plays into a lot of your hair growth and how often you give your hair water um so oh my god i just <laughs> I love this twist out. This is probably one of the best dang twist outs I've had. And this product was, that I mentioned, a dollar. You know what? I might try to stop into one of the, um, and I'm not even being funny. I might stop into like uh, one of the, the Mexican stores, um, like the Mexican supermarket. I know we have one in Oakland. Um, and I think there's one in Hayward too. But you know what? I'm going to check and see if they have that product there. Because um, I want to get a, a larger, larger bottle. But um, if I make it to the dollar store first, I might not make it to that store because it's just a dollar, like I mentioned before. But yeah, let me stop messing around. But like I said, as far as um, for me, what worked for me and what is still working for me, um, good conditioner, good leaving conditioner, um, your hair, natural hair, um, it, excuse me, I should say water is very essential for natural hair water 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 your hair drinks that up it's something about water that works maybe just because it's it provides replenishing so to speak and it has new you know water has nutrients as well and your hair loves it believe you me it does so um i try to wash my hair once a week if i'm lucky <laughs> because i have all the children here um but um when I, if I don't use a lot of product in there, then I won't have a lot of product buildup. So I can sometimes stretch it till about every week and a half. So, I mean, you know, whatever works for you works for you. Um, but like I said, through trial and error, I have found some things to work for my hair. And I will um, be adding this product to my regimen now because it is the bomb. Hello, somebody. But um, I just wanted to make this video, like I said, it was a quick pro product review and I wanted to share with you some of the things that have worked for me in the past and what um, is working for me now. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up, say what you need to say, ask me what you want to ask me. I ain't mad at nobody. So one last time, I'll let you see how my hair is. Shut up. And had I left this in probably like a couple of days, it probably would have been even more awesome. <laughs> Shut up. Like I said, do what works for you through trial and error. You will find out what works for you because your hair will definitely let you know. And you don't have to break your bank for your hair to look nice. I do believe in quality and sometimes you have to spend an extra dollar. But there are other ways to get and achieve the same look. Amen. Amen. Um, it's been a while since I have dusted my ends. So maybe I'll do a video on dusting my ends so you guys can see. Because it's about time for me to touch up my color. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So I will be touching up my color. And I'll, when I do my color, 
Um, I usually do my trim and I do it like once every couple of months. That's what I've been doing. So I think I might go a shade lighter. Yeah, I think I'll go a shade lighter just because, just to do something different. Just to, yeah. Anywho, um, on another note, I just want to try to encourage those of you who may need the encouragement. Um, I don't know if you have watched my first video, but as I mentioned in there, I am a Christian wife, mother. Um, I love, love, love God. I'm so in love with him. He is my everything. I mean, I know I'm silly and I joke around, but, you know, being Christian is really a lifestyle. It's not just something to throw out there. And, you know, I mean, I'm really, really concerned about people. I have a heart for people and I'm compassionate when it comes to others. I'm sensitive to people's emotions and, and I'm just, that's just the type of person that I am. So I hope that if there's anything that you're going through, I hope that you please, please just, just pray about it. Just have faith, trust God and know that he will work it out. So I'm not going to sit up here and preach to you that ain't what I'm going to do. Like I said, um, but from time to time, I will, I'll, I'll jump in and throw in some encouragement just because it's on my heart. So until next time, be blessed. God loves you. I love you. I'll see you again. Bye.